Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sorful here, and if I sound a little different, it's because I'm sick. Do I have the latest strain of the infamous virus? Possibly, I don't know. I haven't got tested yet, so it's very well possible. But besides that, guys, there is a lot going on currently in the Maple Story world, and that's uh, true whether you're talking GMS or KMS. Uh, not really sure about the other servers, so forgive me, but. Uh, there's a lot going on in the maple world if you're talking gms we do have double miracle time uh you know amidst us uh as well as you know the latest batch of updates with the slime boss and stuff like that uh so there's a lot going on as there always is in maple story when it comes you know holiday season at the end of the year and, and in kms there are a lot of uh you know huge updates coming to them as well for the christmas holidays and i have a lot of opinions and thoughts on it personally uh, I don't know this is one thing this is kind of also a reason why uh, I always loved having this you know Maple Story YouTube channels because a lot of times I just want to talk about kind of my opinions on stuff related to the game because I do have a lot to say and um, yeah I, I I'm making this video today first and foremost uh, just to kind of update you guys and let you guys know what I'm currently doing in MapleStory. Uh, we'll see how you guys receive this if it's something that's interesting enough. I know right now I'm just pretty much rambling with my character standing here but uh, I do just kind of want to let you guys know overall what I'm doing currently in MapleStory um, and kind of talk a little bit about uh, my plans and later on in future videos maybe talk about some of the content that KMS has just released. So if you guys are interested in seeing that then you know what to do leave it in the comment section right below that like button uh, but with, with that being said guys currently uh, as you guys can see I'm a little bit higher of a level I don't know if I was 230 I'm pretty sure I was 237 in the previous video that I uploaded I'm 238 now 68 percent I can easily level up to 240 because I feel like I have that grinding itch just to you know grind out a totem here and there um, so I could easily hit 240 but I don't know the way I work is pretty weird in that you know the only reason why I'm not necessarily grinding to 240 is because I wanted to use this <laughs> magnificent growth potion to actually hit 240 so that I'm not at like an uneven number if I hit 240 and use it I'll be 241 because then that might just push me um, to want to grind to another even number or not even but like 245 which I know is probably better to do because it'll give me motivation but I don't know, I'm just in a, a, a weird spot where I feel like grinding, but then it's like I have so much work to do on my Legion. And I'll go ahead and show you guys my Legion because today I will also be showing you guys my two main bossing mules. Um, so it's going to be a little, bit of, a little bit of a spoiler, but you guys will see more uh, in depth later on. But essentially guys, this is my current Legion setup. Again, I've had this account since about June of 2021. Um, so a lot of progress has been made so far and that's part and due to the amount of the sheer amount of like terror burning and uh, level up potions and stuff like that maple gives these days is it's super good it's it's like super nice and with some of the changes coming to KMS um, apparently those things are kind of gonna be even crazier you know with with rumors of there being a terror burning past level 200 if you're not familiar with the rumor look it up do your due diligence and you'll know what I'm talking about but this is my current legion setup guys and um, I'm gonna go ahead and be honest the the highest level characters of mine are pretty much what I want to be bossing characters my demon slayer is of course something I want to be you know not even a second main but I kind of want to co-main a demon slayer with my wind archer the only thing is is the reason, like a huge reason, I've seen people ask me in the comment section, why Wind Archer again? And that's a great question, phenomenal question, if I'm being honest. It's not necessarily because Wind Archers are like necessarily my favorite, because in that podcast video, you guys might have heard that I said Demon Slayers are my favorite class in the entire game. And that's true. I love this class to death, but training and playing on a Wind Archer is like second nature to me. So that, so I just go with, you know, the comfort pick. I know it's a, a pretty fun class. I love all the arrows. I don't necessarily like their color palette too much. It's a little too green for me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's more of a comfort pick for me. It's like when you just, you go to that one thing that you always love, you know, whether you go, I don't know if you guys are like this, but you know, you go to pizza spot, you always get that same, you know, toppings, set of toppings and stuff like that. I know a lot of you guys are probably like a little more, um, uh, out there so to say where you guys switch it up from time to time or often even but i kind of like I'm a, I'm a pretty comfortable guy so i kind of stick to comfort picks when it comes to my main 
but my demon slayer the only problem i have with trying to co-main it is is trying to grind on that class like i'm not comfortable grinding on a demon slayer so it makes it a lot more difficult to actually play that class and and uh uh do things like that i'm getting a little bit comfortable using it in bosses i just did struggle low me in on it stuff like that we'll go on it we'll talk about it we'll you know go in a little bit more depth but this is kind of what my legion is looking like so i'm thinking of putting a, a bit more time into legion again i'll go through uh, so you guys could kind of see what i've been doing uh so one thing that's one thing that's actually important and um, i hope i hope everyone watching this has made it to this part of the video at least because something important in maple story uh, and this is something i think with several mmos that it can happen and that's where you start to see the game more as a more as a chore and i mean that when people get sweaty about the game it's happened to me many times in the past and that my friends is a quick way to burn yourself out the, when you look at these classes you're gonna be like wait a minute sorrel why is your battle mage level 183 uh, the link skill is not good the legion gives int uh the oh sorry the, the yeah the link skill is not necessarily needed I mean, some people use a sure, but you don't need a level 200 uh, battle mage to have that that link skill maxed out. It gives in for the legion. It's you know, why would I have a level 183? Why would I invest that time and effort into a battle mage? And that's simply because any class you level up is gonna work on your legion. That's a fact. I don't want to level classes just because of their utility outside of. You know leveling that class and outside of legion per se so link skills legion board effects etc because that's gonna burn me out i don't like playing classes that i don't that i don't enjoy it sounds simple and stupid i know it would be more beneficial to my overall account and character and mains if i you know had a level 183 phantom instead because then i could get it up to 210 for level 3 link that's not the way I'm choosing to play the game this time around because I need to make sure that I'm playing this game because I enjoy it. Because at the end of the day, guys, Maple Story is a game. It shouldn't be a job. It shouldn't be a chore. It shouldn't be something that you're dreading to log into every day to get those dailies done. You know, it needs to be a game and I'm choosing to cho to go this path of, of keeping it that way. And sometimes it can get a little bit annoying, you know, doing dailies on every single um or sorry, every single day on all these different arcane river spots, right? So what I do is, if I don't feel like doing one on a particular particular day, I take the hit. I'm like, okay, screw it. I'm not gonna do like for the past week, guys. I don't know why this turned into like a how to play Maple Story video. What the hell, I, guys? It's <laughs> just rock with me. <laughs> We're just going off the cuff here, but <laughs> why am I going to Henesis, huh? But like for example, I don't want to do the what is it called Urda Spectrum or something like that in the pretty much the PQ in Nameless Town um, because I hate it. So for the past week and a half, I stopped doing it altogether. And uh, without giving you guys too much of a spoiler, I'm not going to go over my equips, but I will show you guys my symbols. That's why it's at 17 and my choo choo is at 18. Because if I was doing it still for the week and a half, they would both be about the same. So, you know, things like that. If you need to cut back some stuff, guys, take it from me. Don't be afraid. You're going to miss out on some stats, some symbols, some gains. But if it means you'll be happier logging on the next time instead of dreading that one thing, by all means, you know feel free to cut it out of course if you're that kind of person that just could just do it and not give a not give a crap then by all means you're you're built different right but me i don't want to burn myself out playing this game which is why i have so many classes at random levels shadower 160 i plan to make this a, a fifth job character of mine i love shadowers mihao 150 uh it was a burning character like I, I, I wanted the link skill and also I enjoy Mihiles. I don't know why. It's a super weird class, but I enjoy them. You know, so um, I have a couple things here and like Demon Avenger. Everybody would be like, oh, that has to be the tier three link skill, blah, blah, blah. But mm, I'm okay, you know, eventually when when I'm ready, when I want to. Um, and so yeah, play Maple Story the way you guys want to play it is essentially what I'm trying to tell you. Don't worry about what the guides say. Don't worry about what the the most optimistic uh or optimal path is to go you know tier three evan link tier three iran link tier three mercedes link don't burn yourself out play the game enjoy the game pick a class pick many classes like me enjoy them play them for a bit hop around do what you got to do um 
and yeah that's kind of what i do just on a general sense playing the game this time around uh, and with that being said my wind nurture i plan again to get it to 240 uh minimum obviously i'm pretty much already there uh and then 245 uh, in the long run i might go for 250 just so i could you know uh join those those uh, boss runs like i spoke about in the previous video um but i'm not gonna go over equips on my main just yet okay um i know you guys are seeing you know i have a unique airing it's because the unique pot on it is actually like <laughs> better than almost all my legendary pots so uh yeah but yeah i'll go into the equips on my main later down the line a little bit later what i've been doing pretty much is stacking up some meso for that dmt not for my main but for my demon slayer and hero yes my hero a hero is a class that i actually found in a, a recent uh, passion for uh because i've seen their burst and i'm like holy shit i want to play that class i want to try it and i have no regrets so we're gonna hop onto those characters put my meso in the storage here and i'll catch you guys on my demon slayer all right so to recap on my wind archer i'm focusing more on leveling as opposed to gear as well as polishing up gear whenever star force events come around uh as for my demon slayer i'm it's the opposite i'm not caring about levels right now because you know i don't want to train two classes uh past 200 at the same time uh so i'm gonna do i'm gonna work on my demon slayer in terms of leveling once my wind archer hits the goal that i want or have set out for it so 240 minimum maybe 245 then i'll start working on my demon slayer again not trying to burn myself out my demon slayer on the other hand uh i've been working on his equips slowly using master and meister cubes uh the only set of cubes i bought for it were during the latest cube sale i bought like 60 cubes or something just to throw on him and see what happens so i'll go over his equips real quick nothing special obviously you know just some basic stuff uh, i do have full apps on him because um, I'm just going by quickly guys, there's nothing important, but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to cube his stuff, um, m most of the things that I'm keeping on him for a long term, I'm going to cube up to legendary, uh, so not too many things like CRA top, uh, hat, um, I'm probably going to leave this ring at 21% to be honest, uh, these are reinforced earrings and I need to transfer or hammer them to superior, so I'm not going to get that up to legendary, uh, the cape, um it's 21 percent, but this is a 160 you know equipped so i'm gonna get that to legendary um so yeah small things are gonna be upgraded on my demon slayer during double miracle time i want to get him to at least uh 15k stat which i think is extremely doable um and the other thing that i was planning to do on him is actually boss prequests but seeing the latest changes in kms i don't know if i should wait six months you know just to have them you know automatically done for free uh or if i should just bite the bullet and you know do a couple prequests all over again so i'm not sure yet but cubing is definitely going to be happening on this guy it's super fun playing my demon slayer i love doing bosses on his struggle runs i did struggle cra i think on him this week already uh okay i did not i swear i did i mean i guess the week did just reset so yeah um yeah so i did struggle i think i did struggle low me in on him and trust me guys i know what you're saying my stats how can i contribute to the party guys i was the only bind in the entire party so at least i had if you guys don't know demon slayer's bind is pretty much ready by the time the hard timer is up as well so yeah i was binding off cooldown and also putting in the deeps with my link skills i'm about 10k stat or just thereabouts when i'm all buffed up and stuff and when I actually have like 6% strength on some of these epic equips like that and this. So I was 10k stat, you know, I was contributing, I was doing the stuff, I was doing what I had to do. And yeah, cleared low. Let me make sure it was this week though. Otherwise I have to do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was this week. Um, but yeah, super fun stuff. I, I can't wait to continue to get, um, you know, better, better equips on my Demon Slayer so that he can do other bosses i obviously cleared c uh just to give you guys an idea of what you know an 8k 9k demon slayer could accomplish with you know run of the mill potential so to say like if you look at my weapon 20 percent strength 30 percent boss nothing to wow at nine percent attack nine percent attack six strength so nothing crazy i did hard hill as well um what else there's one more easy sickness there you go 
So I did a couple of those bosses as well as the struggle woman. So, you know, it's a decent amount of income added and it's a lot more fun playing um, a Demon Slayer because it's a new challenge in terms of bossing. Uh, he does have three different iframe skills. So it's, it's, it's <laughs> insane to me just, you know, using those things and timing it properly. It's super fun. So that's my Demon Slayer, guys. We'll go on to my hero, talk a little bit about my hero, what my plans are for that as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, and finally on my hero, <laughs> I know what you're saying. Uh, they're both in Scrapyard. You guys know the drill. I be trading Scrapyard weeklies on the daily, son. That's how I have. I'm getting like all these absolute equips on all these different characters. It's a super headache. I absolutely hate Scrapyard weeklies. To the dev who uh, created it or the game designer who created Scrapyard weeklies, please reconsider the field that you are in because unless your goal is to make players miserable, then you need to either go back to school or change career paths, brother. This is not the way. And with that being said, uh, very vanilla on my hero. And this is what I'm considering for my account, guys. Right now, the big three. These are my three main characters that I'm trying to work on. And to be honest, the hero snuck in there last minute. Uh, he was level 200. I was level 200 just like yesterday or the day before. And I just grinded out, you know, two levels on it just so that if I ever get another um, growth potion option, I'll get him from 202 to 210 with the potions. Because I, I just don't like training 200 to 210. I don't like training past 200 too much, to be honest, at all. But having gotten to a Sphera has made grinding on my Wind Archer bearable again. Training at the Spiders are just so much better than CLP for Wind Archers. In my personal opinion because of my training style we'll get into that in a different video maybe um for train uh, wind archers out there who you know don't like doing the whole sentient arrow training method but that's for another day um but like i said my hero snuck in there last minute it was supposed to be my cane someone left a comment on my video uh really recently saying that they're surprised i'm not playing cane you should be surprised if you knew how i was and who i was uh, you know back then when i was playing maple and making videos a dark themed archer was all I ever wanted. Kane is a very cool archer in my opinion. I do like a lot of his skills and his kit. I do think he's really cool. And that's why he was going to be with my big three. So Demon Slayer, Kane, Wind Archer. But Hero just snuck in there last minute. I still will be funding Kane eventually down the line. I'm going to get him full Absol as well. Um, but that's later on. I'm working on Hero first because I believe I could get more money quickly from my Hero then returns would be with my cane cane is also very strong though guys if you're an unfunded person love archer classes looking for a new character character to play definitely try out cane super strong super fun very uh, mobile uh has an iframe or two and yeah very well-rounded class all around in my opinion um but yeah for my hero since my demon slayer doesn't need too many cubes to tear up things to legendary I figured I'd go ahead and get my CRA equips on my hero, of course, three piece uh, to legendary. I will also be getting these from rare to legendary. And I do have with with a couple more trades and another, you know, Lomian trade carry a Lomian carry trade. I will also be able to um, afford a couple more uh absolute pieces just in time so i booked my dmt for december 26 so just after christmas uh i like booking it for the latest time so i could give myself the most amount of time to get the most amount of mesos possible i highly suggest you guys try doing the same thing in the future if you guys are like me and don't just you know grind all day every day for meso um because yeah it just gives you the, yourself the most time to then make the most use of whatever event it is and so yeah i'm gonna be cubing a lot on my hero uh he's missing so many things though and i don't of course if i wanted to min max i would do uh commercy to get sweet water on my demon slayer and hero but again guys commercy is something i absolutely hate doing every day i didn't do it on my wind archer till i was like level 220 or something i hate getting sweet water equips it sucks that their flames on them suck ass because KMS doesn't have them so screw it i'm probably gonna get these to legendary because at the end of the day guys the way i think is even though i have these legendary depending what i do with this class in the future these can always become drop equips or meso equips right so you gotta think you don't have to but the way i think is always um you know trying to not waste cubes on things that are not going to be quote unquote permanent 
okay, for my hero, if I get these to legendary, it'll always be useful, even if I go late game with my hero, because, boom, drop equips all of a sudden, you know? So I'm probably going to get these to legendary on my Demon Slayer and hero. Uh, these earrings as well, might as well just get them up to legendary. Um, so yeah, it's it's my hero needs more equips to cube. Uh, with 6.5 bill, I had 8 bill. Uh, but I spent 1.5 bill on the 17 star scroll from the uh, Pink Bean event or creator step up uh, meso shop, the Pink Bean meso shop, uh, because I don't like uh, gambling with equips. I don't want to have to do Helix every day uh, to get something up to 17 stars. So um, that's what I did. I would have had 8 bill. 8 bills way more than I think I need for my Demon Slayer and Hero just to get them. You know a couple clips up to legendary so um yeah that's kind of what i'm gonna do that's kind of what i've been working on just you know grinding here and there on my wind archer getting me so that way as well if you guys want to know my rates i'll go ahead leave a comment i'll go ahead and respond to you uh if enough people ask i'll just pin it to the top of the chat or top of the comment section but guys hopefully you guys enjoy little videos like this where i'm kind of just rambling about things that i'm doing currently in maple story because i love being able to talk to you guys and like one of my favorite parts about having this channel has always been the comments you guys leave and being able to interact with you guys in that sense and in that form uh because i love talking maple with a, a bunch of other people who enjoy doing the same thing so uh happy holidays um apologize you know for my voice whatever it's probably a little crackly and whatnot uh but yeah take care of yourselves be safe be happy have a good holiday and i'll catch you guys real soon in the next video i'm gonna be doing a dmt video most likely um uh, just to share my gains with you guys i don't know if i'll probably not stream it but yeah i'll definitely record it um and yeah stay tuned for the next one stay calm everyone